Hello and welcome to another uh, video review from Watch It All About. This time we're going to be looking at the uh, David Mason uh, DM1B uh, watch. Uh, it's the black-faced watch, which is the, uh, the B. The A version is the white-faced watch. So, as we uh, have a look at it, it is um, a very well-made very well made watch. Uh, it looks good on the wrist as well. It's quite an impressive size. It's 46 mil. Um, wide, that's uh, without the crowns, so it does have a lot of wrist presence and it is a, a extremely uh, extremely big, oversized uh, pilot style watch. Uh, so uh, first of all, um, it's worth noting that the, uh, the crystal is mineral, which is a shame, especially at this price point, it is £160 new. Um, and the fact that it has a mineral glass uh, is uh, quite disappointing, um, but also the fact that it's quartz uh, as well. Even though it is a Swiss-made quartz, it's a Ronda movement, um, it is a shame that they couldn't uh, upgrade one of these two for this price. Saying that, it is a very well-finished uh, watch. Uh, you can tell it, it is very high quality, very well made as well, uh, by all the various aspects uh, of it, which we'll be uh, looking into slightly more detail uh, now. So uh, even though it is mineral crystal, it is an exceptionally clear crystal and uh, it is nice and big as well. It has um, a small amount of anti-reflective coating, uh, but it doesn't do uh, a wonderful job, but it still does uh, stop some reflections. Uh, the, the face is a nice matte black uh, with these um, oversized uh, numbers and hour markers. Uh, the loom on them is, uh, is brilliant. Uh, it's a really impressive uh, uh, coating of loom, very evenly uh, applied, uh, and it's very strong as well, and it lasts for quite some time. So I am very impressed with the loom. Uh, the hands, if I can... The hands are just standard batons with uh, slight arrows at the end, uh, and you see the red GMT hand as well. Um, it advertises itself as true GMT movement, but basically all that means is get that back in focus as you uh, as you change the time it just moves around with the time and then you can set push that back in it's a screw and crown which is very good you can set your second time zone using the internal bezel uh, the uh, mechanics behind the internal be bezel is uh, very nice has a nice amount of friction as you turn it. It feels very high quality, and the uh, the crown is is very nice as well. Both of the crowns on the case are a slightly matte finish. I'll show you um, them in in better detail later on as I I can't focus just that close, but I'll put my macro lens on and uh, show you them in closer detail later on. Uh, the the whole case is uh, brushed. Um, you see it's quite thick as well uh, and the case back uh, has some nice detailing on as well it's got quite deep engraving uh, it just shows some details around the edge logo in the middle and then the serial number it's, it's a screw in case back which is good as well uh, the uh, the strap is like a weird shiny leather uh, and it smells quite a lot as well uh, but this nice uh, white stitching goes well with the uh, with the face, uh, looks looks good on the wrist and it's very comfortable, has a nice soft underside as well. The buckle is quite nice, has a deep etching of the David Mason logo. Let's see if I can zoom in on that, no. There we go. Uh, so I'll show you that in greater detail uh, when I put the macro lens on as well. Uh, so I'll put it on the wrist now so you can see it on the wrist. So as you can see, it does have a, a lot of wrist presence, it is large, um, but it does, uh, it does look uh, expensive uh, on the wrist. Okay, so let me get my macro lens on and we'll have a look at it in more detail. So starting with the, the 
buckle. So it's a nicely finished steel, and the logo is nice and deeply engraved as well. Just give the crystal a wipe. All of these loom markers are flawless, very evenly uh, applied, and the ink as well. You can tell it's high quality ink on the printing on the the dial because um, it's flawless, and you can see they it's raised slightly as well. So there's a good amount of ink on there. The hands are all nicely uh, machined as well, polished steel with the uh, the loom centre. You can see you can just about make out the the nice matte finish to the dial. It's a nice nice finish, and let's have a look at the internal bezel as well. Let's see, turning that. Moving on to the crown, nice deep etch, and you see it's like a matte finish rather than a brushed or a polished finish. Has a lot of um, a lot of threads on the screw and crown as well, which is good. Um, so it will be uh, nice and watertight. And then this is the internal bezel crown, which is nice and oversized, gives it a nice uh, tool-like feel to the watch. Okay, let's take that off. So, um, I do think that £160 is slightly too much for it, but it is still a, a very well made watch. Uh, currently, this is the only watch they do in their lineup, but this year they'll be releasing more. Uh, and they've, uh, they've actually said uh, to me that um, all their future watches will have a sapphire crystal, which is great news. So, I do look forward to um, uh, receiving. Uh, and reviewing the rest of their uh, collection. Uh, I am quite excited because there aren't many uh, budget UK-based uh, watch um, manufacturers apart from Christopher Ward, so it'll be nice to see uh, another company um, uh, get in there. So, yeah, looking forward to this, and it is a very high-quality watch. I, I am impressed with it, and it is nice uh, to wear, and it does look good. So, um, so yeah, I, uh, I do like it. Okay, so that concludes the review.